I'm going to make a pass out of your skin! Bloody spider! I'm going to make a pass out of your skin! I'm going to make a pass out of your skin! Bloody thing! I just finished! A hidden valley. As hidden as my bone bag. Bone bag? Every doctor has a bone bag. It's part of their basic equipment. I see. Are you one of us? Who is us? Me and... and... I don't know. Where are the others? I think we shouldn't be alone here. I don't see anyone else here. I'm sure there were others here. They're bound to be back soon. No. No. Something about this isn't right. I think there's a lot about him that isn't right. What's the matter with you? You seem a little disorientated. I keep having strange dreams of humans, fish, and terrible monsters. You dream about fish? Yeah, but that's not the problem. In my dream, the monster is telling me I should eat the fish here. He's calling down from the plateau in the northwest. I'll check the Northwest for you. Maybe I'll find your phantom monster. Really? I bet it was just your imagination. I'd feel better knowing there's nothing lying in wait for me up there. I'm sure I'll have a token for you if you find out what's going on here. What is it about the fish here? I... I don't know. I don't even know where they come from. Oh, I'm so hungry. But these fish... They... they said a cold shiver down my spine. Something is wrong with them. About the fish. You shouldn't eat the fish. But I'm so hungry. I've got the feeling that there's something wrong with these fish. You're right. I don't even know where these fish came from. Maybe they're poisoned or something. It's possible.
What happened? What are you doing? Uh, oh, forget it. I need to sleep. Unbelievably tired. That wasn't a dream. How do you mean? The monster that spoke to you in your dream was a soul eater. I thought as much. So what about this soul eater? You don't need to worry about it anymore. Very good. Here's the reward I promised. Your friend has returned. Yes, I see. Thank goodness I didn't eat the fish. Why? Because one of the fish suddenly turned into my friend here. I dread to think what might have happened if I'd eaten them. I can suddenly remember everything. Tell me what happened. There were nine of us when we arrived here. We'd been sent out to explore the island. It's... funny. What? I can remember how I forgot everything. A very strange feeling. Go on. After the first night here, a few of us had already gone missing. But I remember that we knew someone had gone missing. But we just couldn't put a finger on it. It was as if we'd forgotten the others overnight. Instead, there were all these fish lying about. None of us wanted to touch them. And what happened then? Well, one by one, even more people disappeared. Until I was the only one left. And you know the rest of the story. Why did only one change back? Perhaps it's been too long for the others. They were probably dead. There's no changing back from that. I need to get going. All right. Thanks again. I won't be eating that stuff. All right. Looks like the skull of a woman. There must be someone here who can tell me more about him.
Does this skull look familiar? <sighs> Where did you get that? It is the bony husk of my only daughter. I found it in a valley. The old valley. Buried deep in my memories. The final resting place of Calypso. But she will come back to me soon. Just a few more. And then it's done. What do you think of this part of the world? An evil spirit rules over this place. Everything you see here is doomed to die. Isn't that always the case? No, not always. You must be especially careful here. This place is in the grip of madness. Trust no one. Going to make a hat of bloody spiders! No one has touched these records for ages. It says here, 300 years have passed since the war against the Lord of the Underworld. But he was not defeated. He lays in wait in the Underworld, feeding on the souls of the dead. This island forms a bridge between the Underworld and the world of the living. Hmm, might be useful. I should keep this page. Forget about the rest of the crap here. Thing. 
Better squished. Strange place. I hope you brought a few bottles of rum, just in case. Do you want to get drunk? No, but the best way to numb the pain is a good swig from the bottle. What do my tired eyes see before me? An outsider? Here? Or did they finally send you to get me? Who are you running from? Me? Running? No, I can't run. No one can. There's no escape from this island. I've been waiting for my salvation for almost 20 years. And whenever I think the moment has come, it goes up in smoke, just like you will do. You've been living on this island for 20 years. Living? Well, I wouldn't exactly call it living. It was simply surviving, with fear as my constant companion. You will find no treasures here, only death and decay. Tell me more about yourself. Are you interested in a story? Then I will tell you mine. Maybe you can learn from my mistakes. Tell me all about it. Well, where should I begin? When I was your age, I served as a sailor on a magnificent trading ship. But when a pirate galley sailed into our wake, that was the end of it. They boarded us and took both the cargo and some of the crew as their prize. I was one of them. So, you're a pirate? I used to be one, back then, indeed. And at the time, piracy was still a profitable business. We robbed nobles, traders, Aristocrats, and even the King's Galley fell to us. At the height of our activities, we had everything. Yet, nothing at all. The more we looted, the greater became the number of our pursuers. Sounds like you escaped from them. I did. But the price of freedom was high. Our captain had to change course constantly to keep the upper hand. 
One day, we hit a fog bank. But this was no ordinary fog. It was dense as smoke. Everything became silent. Deadly silent. Then, there was a loud crash, and we started to take on water. And what happened next? Well, this island happened. There was no escape. Since then, not a day goes by when I don't wish that I'd never been a pirate. All the gold brought us was misfortune. All right, that's enough. What a shame. A real shame. But thank you for taking the time to listen to me. I'd like to thank you for this. Here, for you. I'll take you to safety if you want. You? And just how are you gonna do that? I'll take you to a small Inquisition outpost. Inquisition? Don't be scared. They won't harm you. All right. I trust you. If you lead me safely to your commandant, I'll have something for you. A map that marks the spot where we buried the cargo we salvaged before the ship sank. Follow me. I'll take you out of here. Good. But no detours, please. It'd be best if you took me straight to your Commandant. I don't know what to think of your plan, but at least it's a plan. You know, during all those years, one has a lot of time to think. When you're young, you can't fill your pockets fast enough. But the older you get, the more important other things become. The food has been terrible, though. Worms and raw meat, day in, day out. You ate worms? Yeah, and you don't want to know how those tasted. But, enough talk. I'm running out of breath. That's quite a boat anchored here. Do you really think they'd leave an old codger in peace here? I'll put in a good word for you. I promise. I can't thank you enough. The gods themselves must have sent you. There. An old pirate keeps his word. Here's the map. You've earned it. I wish I could give you more, but I've got nothing else left. What do you think of Mortimer? What am I supposed to think of him? He probably has a lot to answer for and should be kept under lock and key. Just because he's old doesn't mean I'll let him get away with everything. Once the situation has calmed down, he'll be handed over to our jurisdiction. He regrets the error of his ways and won't cause any more trouble. And what makes you so sure? He's had enough and now wants peace. Very well. I shall heed your words. 
From now on, he shall be allowed to move freely. In addition, he will receive a daily food ration like any other of my men. You can tell him if you like. Carlos will leave you in peace. You're smart, Lenny. And I'm ashamed that I can't give you more. Thanks to you, I can age gracefully. Don't you have a secret to disclose?
Now shift your ass. I have no intention to. Do you know what the punishment is for insubordination? Yes. Yes what? Yes. But I'm still not shifting my ass. I'm warning you. When Commandant Carlos hears about this, you've had it. But at least I'd be alive. Don't push it too far. I'm warning you. Say, where did you come from? You're not part of our expedition, are you? I sail under my own flag. You're joking, right? Well, in that case, you're up shit creek without a paddle, just like us. It looks that way. <laughs> I'll buy a round so we can drink to that. I pilfered it from the galley. But hey, you came at just the right time. An extra pair of strong arms is always welcome as far as I'm concerned. Strong arms? Aren't your weapons enough for you? Well, usually they are. But the creatures here are too tough. It's gonna take more than that to deal them some real damage. I'd be happy to find someone here that hasn't completely lost it yet. Tell me more about this place. You'll die here as quickly as anywhere else. But that doesn't bother me. I'll just have to hold on until I leave the service. Who knows? Maybe I'll even stay on here if there are no more problems. And until that time comes, I'll keep shooting for some trophies. So, what can I help you with? There's a... thing. Decimating my men southeast of here. I've tried to get Domingo to take care of it, but he won't budge an inch. He'd like best to give up his post and go back to his mummy. But that isn't gonna happen, not while I'm still standing. Orders are orders, and I need someone to take care of that creature. Why don't you kill it? Because I have to send a report to Carlos if all else fails. I don't want to think of them getting ambushed and not coming back. Anyway, I'm just carrying out orders. You can't disobey orders. What can I learn from you? What do you want to know? I'd like to shoot faster with guns. Good! I'd like to improve my musket skill. Fine! I'd like to be a more effective pistol shooter. Fine! I'd like to improve my shotgun skill. Good! No. Go away. The whole island is cursed. We're all going to die. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Well, it's up to you. But I'm not digging a hole for you. This island doesn't forgive mistakes. It's suicide to settle here. You don't seem to agree with the Inquisition's plans. Indeed I don't. We're not safe from the Titans here, either. Just because nobody knows about this island doesn't mean they don't. There's only one way. Run. Run to the end of the world. That lad isn't much help. How could you join the Inquisition? Put yourself in my place. Someone walks up to you and tells you you needn't fear anything anymore. They promise you you'll be trained in the latest weapons. To top it off, you'll get decent pay. Wouldn't you say yes? If it sounds that good, it can't be true. Yeah, I found that out. But that damn recruitment officer talked me into it anyway. Hindsight is easier than foresight.
I'll find a way of slaying it. I don't care how you do it. Maybe there's even a way of avoiding getting your hands dirty. Tell me more about your alternative. Ah, excellent. I see you catch on fast. Listen, maybe you could get some other poor sucker to do your dirty work. You just have to make sure Domingo kills the beast. Sure, this thing's a suicide mission, but there is a way to get out of this unscathed. Sounds devious. Why not? What happens if Domingo dies? Don't worry. I don't think he'll do anything about it anyway. He's scared shitless, so the beast has probably picked up his scent already. In any case, if anything should happen, he's no big loss. There's no room in the troop for wimps. Gonzalez said you'd shit yourself. What do you expect? He's ordered me to look after my comrades. But what's the point of that? They're dead. And I'm not stupid enough to confront the creature that killed them. Are you refusing to obey an order? Yes. The worst thing that can happen is that they dock my pay. But that's better than to die in the attempt. Gold's no use to you if you are dead. I'm staying put. You can deal with the beast. The creature responsible for the death of your comrades is dead. Well, so what? It'll come back again. We're still as screwed as we were before. Believe me, that animal isn't coming back. I hardly know you. So why should I believe you? Unlike you, I'm thorough. All right, all right. Maybe things will get better from now on. Here, this is everything I've saved. You earned it. Relax. The Soul Eater's gone. Hopefully that was the last one. If we can't get any bigger cannons, things will look pretty bleak. But before I bend your ears, take this gold. An honest day's pay for an honest day's work.
to crush a few skulls now! Going to crush a few cows now. <laughs> Too intricate for me. 